Good afternoon. I did my nebulizer treatment, feeling a little bit better. Um, so I tuned on, turned on my Uber app because I've like barely worked in the last two weeks and nothing's coming in. <laughs> but I didn't expect anything to come in. I mean, not when the weather's like this. It's um, it's officially 100 degrees out here. Uh, man, it's going to be a hard summer here in Texas. Um, I really feel like something big is about to happen. I'm praying it's the rapture. Um, I feel very strongly, family with everything in me, that we are about to go home. I feel it so strongly. It's like I can just just imagine myself being in heaven. And we need to spend these last seconds planting seeds, sharing the gospel, and not being so horrible and hateful to each other. I mean, people's true personality is coming out. You know, and there's some people that just take pot shots for no reason whatsoever. They judge. And you know what the definition of judging is? Now, if you know somebody and you see them going down the wrong path and you step in to give them advice, that's that's what we're supposed to do. But when you don't know somebody from Adam, you've never met them, you don't know what they're going through, and you're forming an opinion based on what you think, that's judging. You're not supposed to do that. We need to get... Why can't everybody just get along and be nice? It's... But we are in the last days, you know, and we are, I, I feel it very strongly that we are about to go home. I know I've been saying that for a while, but sorry, still, still not hundred percent, you know, but um, yeah, it's, um, I, I feel very strongly we're about to go home and there's, okay. sometimes that helps me breathe. I try to yawn and I can't. I mean, I'm hearing stuck up on food, stuck up on medicine, stuck up on this, stuck up on that. It's like, well, you know what? I mean, that's awesome, man. If you can do that, <laughs> you know, I mean, when you hear things like that, sometimes it could be a bummer, you know, but, um, oh, and I, I tried to record a second ago and I don't know if I said this in this video or the last one. So if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry that the picture is so blurry. Don't have a foggy clue why if I turn it around that way, it's clear. So, but, um. But yeah, it's, um, sometimes it can be a bummer. It's like, well, that's good and dandy for you, man. I've even seen channels where they're selling survival food for like $500 and up. Well, maybe, but maybe they're not personally, but it's like a company, you know, attached to their page that sell. And I'm like, wow, they're not selling it personally, but it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's a company. And I'm just like, uh, oh, must be good and dandy, man. For, for all, but I mean, I'm not worried about it, you know? Don't worry about it. You know, get money out of the bank. Stuck up on this, and I'm like, okay, should I take out the whole two dollars or should I leave in half of it? You know, I'm just being silly. God will supply our needs. He will supply our needs, and we're not going to be here much longer anyway. So don't get bummed out when you hear stock up on this, stock up on that. And I'm like, really? Okay. Well, let me just pull out my big old bank funds and yeah right I'll, I'll keep it two dollars I'll take out the other two because we're about to go home I feel it very strongly I feel it with everything in me that we're about to go home so these are exciting times and if you were going from one problem to another like me rejoice your strength, your faith is growing. Jesus, the Holy Spirit's always by your side. He will get you through. And just keep reminding yourself, you're a threat to Satan. Thieves don't break into empty houses. I heard a um, this kid, he's, he's maybe about 25 years old. He's on t There's a lot of credit on TikTok, but there's some good on TikTok too. And um, I know I've mentioned this before. But, um, yeah, he... Um, He's a preacher, and um, he says, yeah, he, that he put it a great way. He said, thieves don't break into empty houses. Satan knows God has big plans for you, and he's trying to deter He's trying to deter me. He's trying to deter you. He doesn't want us going to heaven. I'm like, I'm, I laugh at him. I'm like, really? All you're doing is building up my strength. I mean, my faith, and it's not going to work. You know, you lose, and I put my faith and trust in my Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and that's not going to change. Even as we are doing number one and number two in a bucket. <laughs> Not my faith. 
we are very, very close to going home, and I'm going to be looking for y'all at the marriage supper. Brownie table. Can y'all imagine? Oh, my gosh. Brownies in heaven. I mean, do y'all ever wonder what... I, I, I know I say this a lot, but I like thinking about it. Do y'all ever wonder what food is in heaven? What's going to be at the marriage supper? Oh, my gosh. And you know what? Those of you that are Gen X in your 50s, no menopause. Woo-hoo. I, I, I have a heater and a fan plugged in my room. <laughs> you ever seen those funny videos where somebody's laying down in the, um, on the bed and they have the blankets up to here and it's really hot. Then they take the blankets off and it's really cold. <laughs> like that, that's like me all night. But, um, yeah, and my grandson again this morning, he said, uh, what did he say? Um, Jesus is back, Jesus is back, Jesus is back home. And he's just learning to talk. I asked him about it today again, and um, I said, so you saw Jesus, his eyes lit up like I've never seen them light up. And he was like, yeah, I really truly believe when he took a nap that day, he saw Jesus because my mom said when he woke up, he went running into the kitchen. Um, I saw Jesus or something like that. I can't remember. Um, can't remember what he said right now, but yeah, I, I believe he saw him because Jesus is, a, is a, he's appearing to a lot of children. I mean, I don't know if he saw his face, and, and, but he knew it was Jesus and he's only three. We are going home. Don't be discouraged if you're stuck up in this, stuck up in that, because we're not going to be here much longer. I mean, really, we are not going to be here much longer. I know life's tough, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's going to get tougher and tougher and tougher. That's not that's doom. And, some people say, "Oh, all you talk about is doom and gloom." Well, read your Bible again. Maybe you think it's doom and gloom. I'm not saying you, but you know what I'm saying to the people that say, "Oh, doom and gloom." You know, I'm like, like you know, maybe y'all think it's doom and gloom. I know I'm going home soon. I'm excited. These are exciting times. I mean, did y'all ever think that you would be alive to witness what's happening? And at the rate it's happening, we could be raptured any time. I mean, it's we're about to see Jesus. It's like, wow. I'm just gonna fall to fall to his feet, you know. Um, like every now and then, I'm like, um, I'm sorry, one second. I can't put it on that holder thing because it's broke. Uh, every now and then, I'll be outside. You know, and I'll be like going. Sometimes people have walked by me and they're going. <laughs> I should go, you, you don't, you don't. See. No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, they're looking at me like, what's she looking at, man? I'm just always looking up at this guy. I know we're going to be seeing him soon. I'm so excited. He's my best friend and he's, he's getting me through all this. This has been the most, this has been the toughest thing I've ever gone through. And now we got no working bathroom or shower. So, um, but we got the plumber coming over tomorrow. And, um, I'm going to tell the city of Bedford, a certified plumber said, it's your fault. So, hopefully I won't have to call Channel 5 News, you know, but, um, anyway. But, yeah, um, be excited. Whatever we go through between now and the rapture, put on the form of God. Keep close to Jesus. Hold his hand. He will get you through. And keep planting seeds. Let's, let, can't, and, and these are the people that leave the nasty comments. Can't you just be nice? Just be nice. You know? But you know what? We are in a dark world and there are people out there that are going to be that way. But the good news is, we ain't going to be going through much longer. You're going home. I love you guys. God bless you. And I will talk to you soon. If I can shut off the video. <laughs> Is it shop? Nope, it's not shop yet. Okay, let's try this again.